Okay, I've got a Cessna 150 here in the shop for an annual. It hasn't uh, flown very much last year, so I did a run-up, and uh, partway through the run-up, it started running rough. It ran on three cylinders for a little while, and then it cleared up a bit. So in my mind, I thought maybe I had a stuck valve, and uh, when I did the compression test, I, uh, there was really low compression on number one cylinder here. Uh, in my notes, I, I noted last year that the compression seemed low on number two, but it was still acceptable, and I think it was just the rings on that cylinder. But So I proceeded uh, to do a compression test, and it was definitely low on number one cylinder. All the rest were good. And uh, so I pulled the rocker cover off, and uh, you'll see I use a, a different tool. I made a little tool that kind of works a little better for taking the keepers off on the O200 engines. It's pretty easy to push the valves down, even with a little short lever like that. So as you can see, the valve is stuck. I can't move it. And when I did jar it, the compression came up, and uh, the propeller swung down, uh, and, the, and the piston is now at the bottom. It was at the top, and it was... They didn't have enough compression to even move it. So I'm going to proceed uh, how I do this. I'll, uh, I'll knock that valve out into the cylinder. I'll ream that guide and I'll put it back in and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to take a brass drift and I'm going to drive that valve into the cylinder. So you can see how hard that is to move. So I'm just going to make sure the uh, piston is at the bottom of the cylinder when you do that. Okay, so I've selected the uh, correct reamer and I've got some cutting oil on it and I've got it in a battery operated drill and I'm just gonna run it in and out of the hole. As you can see, it's quite gummed up with carbon there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. A little more cutting oil. There. Finally went all the way through. So I'm going to blow some air in the top of the cylinder there and blow anything that was in there. I'll blow that back out and then I'll proceed to put the valve back in place. So now I, uh, I've got a a flex light here. I put that in the bottom cylinder, bottom spark plug hole and I just leave that there so I can look down in the hole and see the valve and I've got this uh, magnet. It just seems to be the the perfect one for doing the job. It just barely fits through the hole and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in and grab a hold of that valve if I can. So. This one's a little snug for some reason today. Let me try my other one. Okay, so I've got my magnet so it'll slide through the hole now. It wouldn't go through the hole there very well. It had a little burr on it. So clean that up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to grab a hold of that valve and lift it up a little bit until I get a hold of it with the magnet if I can see it. I'm going to be in the way here for a second. There, I've got a hold of it and I can see that I'm lifting it up. Okay, so I've got a hold of the uh, the valve with the magnet, and I'm kind of lifting up on the guide a little bit 
as I pull it back in you have to wiggle a little bit anyway there you can see the valve is back in the hole and it doesn't stick anymore So I put the bottom spark plug back in the hole and I've got a compression tester in it with air on it. The piston is still at the bottom. It's holding pressure. It's uh, got uh, oh, 80 pounds going in and 65 now instead of 20. And that's with the piston at the bottom. So now I'm gonna, I've got the valve springs back in place with the retainers and I've got the keepers inside of the top one here. And uh, sometimes, I can just get them back in by depressing this and holding it with my thumb. So let's see if it happens today or not. You just hold them. There. So that wasn't too bad. It's a lot better than using the magnet like I have to do on the Lycomings. So I've got the valves back in place. I'll take my fancy tool out of there and I'll disconnect the air. And I'm gonna give that valve just a little wrap to make sure that everything's hunky-dory here. Okay, that's just to make sure the, uh, the keepers have seated in their place. Okay, there you have it. That's how I take the uh, the valve out. Just put it in the cylinder and ream the guide out. I didn't show that I oiled that uh, valve before I put it back in too. I put a little oil on it and I oiled the guide and it was nice and free. Hope this is helpful.